give it up for Ross Ferguson! Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey. So, so last year was a really big year for me because I turned 40. Woo! I know. Honestly, it felt like the end of the world. And I have to apologize, I didn't mean for it to actually be the end of the world. <laughs> but we gotta look at the bright side of things. At least we don't have any kids. It's not from lack of trying, me and my husband. <laughs> but instead of a collection of children, we have a collection of cars. And I'll tell you, there's a real advantage to collecting vehicles instead of kids, because no one gets upset when you want to sell one of your cars. <laughs> but I have a bit of a problem. I really like vehicles, and my husband has told me, no more collector cars. You're only allowed to buy more cars on milestone birthdays. Fair. So for my 30th birthday, I did the young guy thing. I bought a sports car. But for my 40th birthday, oh, trending a little older, I bought a land yacht. I'm a little worried about the next one, my 50th. I'm afraid I'm going to end up with a mobility scooter. <laughs> See you at the Legion. <laughs> so it's the fall, it's autumn. It's my favorite time of year. So many great things happen in the fall. The leaves are turning to beautiful colors. Halloween candy is going to be half price next week. <laughs> but best of all, the boys are wearing sweatpants again. <laughs> So live entertainment is back, because you're all here. Thank you for coming. Honestly, the thing I have missed the most is live music. I am desperate to go see a concert. Like, I don't even care who's playing. I actually bought tickets last week for a concert for this band I kept hearing about on the radio, uh, the Stanley Park Meth Coyotes. <laughs> Show's gonna be starting at dusk, so it's gonna be hard to make it down there to their opening act. It's the, uh, the uh, Second Beach Drum Circle. <laughs> not so sad about missing that one because I know they are not checking the vaccine pass at that one. <laughs> so I read in the news last week, and this is a true story, that there's a doctor in Spain who after seeing one of his lesbian patients for just a routine exam, she walked out of there with a formal diagnosis that said, current illness, homosexual. You're supposed to be outraged. I gotta say, that is pretty ballsy coming from a country that lisps on purpose, okay? So people were really upset about the Team Canada uniforms this year in Tokyo. The head-to-toe denim with the patches. It's like Canadian flags and maple leaves and beavers and shit. People were so upset they said it was too informal and looked like a Canadian tuxedo, not appropriate for the Olympics. So they've actually fired the bay, and they've replaced them with Lululemon. So let me get this straight. To be more appropriate for the Olympics, we've replaced beaver patches with camel toes. <laughs> Though I mean the men's team in yoga pants is not a bad thing, right? The Olympics were also asked to review their stance on weed, seeing as how it's legal in 45 countries now. It's still classified as a performance-enhancing drug. Now, I don't know what athletic performance weed is going to enhance. I mean, did they switch ocean surfing for channel surfing? I mean, if they've made ordering pizza and hot wings at midnight an Olympic sport, then Podium! <laughs> so it was a big year for my niece, too. She started kindergarten. It's very exciting. And to celebrate the occasion, I took her down to the mall to get her ears pierced. And when I got there, they were so excited at the store. They were like, oh, that's so cute. You're such a good uncle. Isn't that adorable? But man, they changed their tune. They got so mad just because I wanted to use a two-for-one coupon. I mean, she's got nipples, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Give it up for Ross Ferguson. I just realized he has matching shoes and shirt. Woo! 
All right.